hey what's up guys welcome back to another video so let's talk about should you summon for gear 2 luffy i know a lot of people already summoned for him a lot of people are like collecting them tickets and golden berries to actually go on and summon for him but let's just talk about him in general right he's a green unit that just dropped and let's talk about both pve and pvp pve wise i would say i would definitely choose mihawk over him because of a lot of reasons there's not enough aoe skills to actually get the mob to clear the mobs and also the fact that he turns into a little luffy in his special and his alt the fact that you can't basically do anything i mean you could attack in that mode but in that short amount of period you're not gonna do it that much so in pve it's all about doing a ton of damage in a short amount of time period so in my opinion he's not that efficient i mean i would definitely choose mihawk over him that's why so now let's talk about pvp pvp wise i would say he's mad fun he's mad fun to play going gear 2 means a lot of things right a lot of reach in his skills his range becomes like two times the range there's stunts in his attacks as well um and also the animation the prime reason why I summon is because of that animation, the detailed animation going to gear two. The devs did such a clean, detailed job on the animation. I really, really love the the movements, like the, the attacks. They're all really looking good, mad nice. So PVP wise, I would say he's a very good top pick, but there are definitely drawbacks. I know, like loses his health, um, little Luffy, like basically can't do anything but however you could use other things like partner skills like Toshigi's partner skills or like Diablo Sanji's partner skill to like use that and continue the combo right after you like go to little Luffy so there are things you could do to take advantage of those drawbacks and still be good in PvP with him so I would say if you're a PvP person definitely summon i mean he's a really good top pick in my opinion so that's what i think if you should summon on him now let's talk about his build all right guys so the build for gear 2 i would say is mihawk three sets of mihawk that's what the game recommends i think that's attack three set full attack and i would say the other option will be aces card which is crit rate but I have him right now with Moria's card. And if you guys didn't know, Moria's card and also Perona's card, I think, is a universal set. That means you can equip it, equip it with any attribute type of uh, unit and you would still get the bonus effects. If you don't have any golden cards, I would say go for um, Zoro's card right here and that would be fine as well. Okay guys, so let's talk about a few skills for gear 2. So let's talk about the basic attacks. That was his basic attacks. Now first skill, sub skill. And now his second skill. Mad nice. So those were the first and second skill. Now let's talk about the second skill, right? The second skill has a, a nice trick. If you hold on to the second skill, the opponent stuns, and then you can continue the combo like that. That's, that's very good. So you could time it really quickly and then you could stun him. Um, another thing, let's talk about his extra card. This extra card is nothing too special here, it's just basic spin attack. Let me switch into the other extra card. This one's really interesting, right? So basically cross it's not entirely across the stadium when you go into gear 2 that'll be like a, a full length but you have to be like probably around here and still it still doesn't catch up to him but either way you could control where you want to go similar to Arlong's attack that's very good I like that Okay, so now let's talk about gear 2 mode. Once you 
in gear 2, right? Pretty much all your attacks have good range. Like, they multiply their range, right? So you could be over here and still connect the combo. Look at that. And look at that animation, bro. Oh my god. Props to the devs, guys. Oh my god. Yeah, pretty much it just becomes like freaking crazy going gear 2 mode. A lot of reach. Mad nice. And also look at the extra card, right? So if I go all the way up here, right? And use the extra card right here. Look at that. Across the whole stadium. The impact is freaking real, man. Oh my god. Okay, now let's talk about the special. Alright, see? When you use the special, he stuns. So you can just go continue the combo and then you switch back. So it's really important to actually go up to the opponent and continue the combo, right? You could use a Tashigi right here and probably continue combo there. So, and now let's talk about the ult. I really like the ult, guys. Not nice. Alright, so after using the ult, you also turn back into little Luffy. But here is very interesting, right? This is the this is the only way the opponent could really take advantage of that, right? So he d he's not stunned right there. So at that at that one second, the opponent can like move up to you and like pretty much attack you. So it's up to you on what you should do right there. I would say definitely escape that, because at that moment you're very vulnerable. So yeah, guys. So I think those are all the all the skills. And pretty much, I really like Luffy, man. Especially going to gear 2. The animation, I just love it so much. Crazy. Alright guys. Hope you guys like the video. I'll have a PvP video soon. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys. See you in the next video. Bye.